Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Creations by Suying. This episode is the conclusion of the first two um, prior videos on uh, the birthday card for my cousin. On this episode we're going to go ahead and put it all together. This is the little bear that we created on um, the Cricut Craft Room, the little teacher or student, or I don't know what you guys want to call her. Um, I had to make a few adjustments. I put her, I, I cut two teddy bears. Let's see if you guys can see. Two teddy bears. On one of the teddy bears, I cut the head off, and I put the head on an action wobble. I just felt like putting the head, not the whole body. And I had to make some adjustments since I used a peachy keen, um everyday assortment pack to stamp her little face and you know how the teddy bear's eyes are further apart so I had to make a little bit of an adjustment on the glasses but I don't think you can really tell I had to cut the middle and kind of like make it smaller like join it more together so that it would the eyes would fit inside the glasses so nowadays people use oversized glasses so I think she looks super adorable so this is our teddy bear from our teddy bear parade. So let's get started. I'm using Recollections cardstock for the card base. And it's an eight and a half. This is going to be a regular size A2 card. Eight and a half, eight and a half by 11, cut in half, scored in the middle. That gives you four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay. So then I took this mustardy color that's in her uniform. Like, it's her crest and her little tie. And I'm going to do this as the first layer for the card. And I ran it through the cuddle bug with, I don't know if it's lots of dots or so. I think that's what it's called, lots of dots. I love, this is one of my favorite cuddle bugs. And this is cut at four by five and a quarter. And that's going to be our first layer. But before we adhere that down, I'm going to adhere, this is the layer that we cut out of the Ultimate Creative Series Sample, that layer that we cut in the video on the Cricut Craft Room, on the shimmery purple paper that I got out of the Recollections Boohoo cardstock pack. This is the Halloween one that we spoke about. So this is going to be, I'm going to adhere this one first because I want to add a ribbon. So I'm going to adhere this one first to that one using our ATG gun, of course. My ultimate favorite. And since it's cuddle bugs, let's add some extra just to make sure it stays put. Now I'm going to lift it. Great. Add some ribbon. Okay, I'm going to lift it here for a minute just to see where the center is. Okay, I think that's just about right. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down. And I'm going to add my ribbon. Now, this ribbon is from Basic Basic. And, of course, it doesn't have a name, a model number, well, it has an S, a SKU number, but I don't think that's going to help anybody. It is from Michaels. Okay. And it's this color. It has pink, beige, purple, um, green. And I feel like it's going to pull together all the colors that are on the teddy bear. I think it's going to pull everything together. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down. I'm going to run ATG on the back of it. You know me, I like my ribbon to stay put. Let's bring that over here. And I'll clean that off now. That would be great there. It's a piece of ribbon. Okay. And we're going to adhere it around the back of our first layer. And there you have it. That's our ribbon. Okay, so now we can adhere this down. To 
to our card base. I'm having such a hard time uploading the first video where I teach you guys the, um, kind of to put ATG on the ribbon itself. I'm having such a hard time uploading that video. I don't know why. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this is centered. Let me open this. Sometimes it's easier if it's laying flat. Here I am peeking again. I think this is, just wanted to make sure that the card was in the shot. Okay, I think that's right. Perfect. I think, yeah. You know how I like to make sure that it's all, I stamp the back with the homemade with love stamp okay so here we have our card let's go ahead and since I have her on a, her little head on an action wobble I'm not gonna pop her up so let's just ATG her down Now let's make sure she is centered and uh, let's see, I think she's good there. So let's press her down. I don't think she's going anywhere. Do you see this where it's just her little head moving? Oh my goodness. I went ahead and punched out out of the pink paper that she's wearing on her on her uniform this EK Success punch that Gloria gifted me and I it's a like a 3 in 1 punch and I set it to just the solid and I got this out Let me see if I can hold it in a different angle where you guys can see it says birthday girl okay and I got that stamp out of the my pink stamper stamp line pinkalicious and it's the birthday girl stamp okay and I put her on foam tape not her but the sign on foam tape so it pops up I think I'm gonna add it right there it says birthday girl. Okay. And now, of course, we are going to bling her up a little bit. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do the ears first with the chocolate brown. I mean, it doesn't have a color from the Studio G. I'm assuming it's like a chocolate brown. And we're going to do her little ears. to give her some sparkle and this one's covered by the bow but I am gonna try to go around it let's see since I added a little recollections bling to her bow I don't plan to bling up the bow okay, let me just clean that off Okay, can you guys see the bling on her ears? All right, I'm gonna bling out the little button on her vest. And the same chocolate brown. Perfect. I'm going to use the clear one, I guess you can say, also from Studio G. 
for the white part of her shirt and the little slits in her skirt. So I'm sorry if I'm not completely in the shot here, but I need to bring this closer so I can make sure. You know, just because you're going to school doesn't mean you can't have a little something extra, a little pizzazz. Now, getting it on the skirt is going to be the tricky part because those little slits are little but if you move it over quick enough you should be okay If you hear little pitter patters, that would be my pregnant Bella. I have to show you guys her one day. <laughs> so pregnant. She looks like a pot belly pig. Alright, and the last thing I'm going to do is with the hot pink uh, Studio G glue is I'm going to bling up the apple. And I'm going to add two little dots. Two little dots to the birthday girl banner on the top as if it were like a little brad. I have pink brads, but I misplaced my 1 and 16th hole puncher. And it's kind of like making me a little bit mad because I just bought it too. And it's, you know what? I just found it. Oh my god. I just <laughs> I saw something sticking out of the corner. Um, here it is. <laughs> I just found it. Well, too late now, but I already well at least I have it. This one is from Recollections, I think. And it's the one sixteenth one sixteenth punch and it works with the little mini brads or any brads. Okay, well, next time but at least I'm happy that I found my my hole punch I just happened to look down and there it was okay guys so I think that this card is finished let me go ahead and share her with you doesn't she look adorable you see all the little blingy her ears the apple her skirt her shirt I think she's all, you know what, let me, since she has a little crest, I have yellow also, so let me just bling up the crest. Let me just make sure it's not going to like ooze everywhere. There we go. Now she's ready. Alright guys, well this is my card for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy days to watch my videos, subscribing to my channel, and leaving me those wonderful comments that you guys leave me. Thank you, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.